How's it going guys? My name is Dougie Boy and welcome back to Call of Juarez Gunslinger. This is part 8. Continue. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Daltons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Well, that's pretty stupid of them. Don't be so stupid, stupid. The story was Bob Dalton's girl was oh, always are my good guys. him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. And finally, the bastard took his brothers to Cofferville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's fault. Oh, shit, I fell. Get inside well, the bank. The locals recognize the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. We got us a hero. Put some holes in them. How the fuck did I miss you? Get inside the bank and up her head. I just did that. Um. There we go. Brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Here we go again. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. Uh-huh. All men had been tracking the Daltons for months. Now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. Get inside the bank. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. You just gotta wait for something. Holy fuck, they're all coming in. He knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. None of these guys. How many fucking guys are coming into this went place? In there alone to confront those criminals. Oh, I guess I gotta go this way. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? I'm going wherever I want to go, eh? Hey. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Yeah, because it just teleported there. Woohoo! It teleported! Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Yeah. High top. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. Yeah, that's very fortunate. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. Ha, 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 ha. I'm laughing at danger. I guess. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. <laughs> what the hell was that? Huh? We've got company. Men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. This country ain't free, you're Jim lying. Jim Bowie, and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Greaves? Shut up, a bitch! Oh. Oh. Reload, reload. Yeah, it was Silas Greaves, motherfucker. No, neither can you. Especially behind that ugly ass chair. Where are you going? Oh, I, I just buzzed his fucking head. He's like, oh. What the fuck? Oh, for a second, I thought that was someone's head. Pay for 
No, you're not. Look at all this money. Can I have some? Money? Money? Money, 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 money. Oh, they took it all. Bastards. I had my loan here. Over there. Oh fuck. Dodge. <laughs> Pump you full of lead, motherfucker. That Silas Greaves. What the hell? Blam, blam. He came away victorious, taking down those thieving dolphins. Come on. I know you're still there. Apprehend the Daltons. Can I go in here? Hey, dude. What are you doing? Nothing? Okay. Here we go. His name is Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Yes, I was. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. Aw, oh, man. I gotta do this for a third fucking time? <sighs> it was early evening, not high noon. I hear a fucking shit buzzing by my head already. Hold on, let me fucking get something. Execute deer my enemies. Ooh. Golden rifle. Yeah. I was late to the party and Coffeeville was already up in arms. I got my golden penis. Eh. Where do I go? The Daltons blew up the safe. And we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Man, that's a rough fly. Alrighty then, the loser! I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. There he is. And finally they did. Yeah, Those they did. stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. <laughs> Waste your bullets. Go ahead. Uh, can I go in here? No? Okay, they fucking... Shoot a dead. Shoot a dead. Where the fuck did they go? You come out and I will. Yeah? You came out alright. You came out. Oh, there they go. Fuckers. came after me like a pack of wild dogs, tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. Yeah, and they're following like fucking all directions too. Anything? Fucking pumpkins. Take that, pumpkin. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout in Tyre. Did the Daltons pull up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. What? No and fucking since the clue. Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smith, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. 
Shit happens. Apparently. I was so damn confused, I didn't know what the hell this is they were talking about. I don't know who the fuck you are, but get the hell out of my house! This is my house. Yeah, I've been here before. Ah, oh, I want the dramatic entrance. There's a dead guy. What the fuck do I go now? Ah, I ruined a good dramatic entrance for nothing. The Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Nope. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. Oh. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Uh, can I go now? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm gonna get ya. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Okay. Um. Oh, this way. It was him, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna tear you apart. No, you're not. It's all killing time. Shut up. Where are you? Oh. Fucking die. <laughs> but Emma Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? That would be me, boy. I put all the holes in him. But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Holy shit, look at my accuracy. My accuracy just keeps getting better and better. Alright there guys, I'm going to leave this video here. If you liked the video, click that like and subscribe button. And until the next video, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!